Hey everybody, it's Elliot here. You've probably landed on this video because you've been seeing that annoying iPhone locked to owner message, also known as the iCloud activation lock. It can be a real headache, especially if you bought a used iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch and can't get hold of the previous owner. And I'm pretty sure you've searched high and low for solutions, maybe even considering some expensive services or sketchy softwares claiming to unlock your device. But before you go down that path, I've got some good news for you. There's a much simpler, safer, and quicker method to get rid of this iCloud activation lock. And the best part about it, it's totally free. Stay tuned because in this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to bypass iCloud activation lock using this awesome free app. And yes, it's legal. Shall we dive in? Let's get started. Just a quick heads up before jumping in. This tutorial is for folks who own their devices but have forgotten their login details. We're all against using this information to unlock stolen gadgets. It's not cool and illegal. Let's respect each other's property and follow the law. And hey, our video respects YouTube's rules and community standards. Now that we've clarified that, let's return to the main thing. Let's talk about the solutions you've got up your sleeve. So picture this. You've got your iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch that's locked itself up tighter than Fort Knox. It happens to the best of us. I mean, once I lost my access info after a particularly hectic vacation, I legitimately thought it was game over for me. But then I discovered this gold mine of unlocking web apps that saved my day. First up, there's Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. This gem is like your personal locksmith, which uses artificial intelligence to help you get back into your device. Then there's another excellent tool known as Safe Unlocks. It's like a friendly sidekick that's there to help you out when you're locked out. This tool has you covered, no matter what device you're using. Lock to Owner is another great resource. This one's a superhero swooping in to save the day whenever you're faced with that irritating Lock to Owner message. And lastly, the iUnlock app is another tool in your unlock arsenal. It's kind of like having a master key to all of your devices. Remember, these tools are purely for educational purposes and they're here to help you out of a pickle when you've just forgotten your login details. In the next video, we will dive into how you can use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant to get yourself back into your device. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm just sliding in here with a quick update. It's important to note that these unlocking services are mainly designed for first world countries. If you're unable to access them or would rather not use them, don't worry. We've got something special for you. Every week, we give away 250 unlocks to our loyal viewers. Yep, you heard that right. To enter, all you have to do is hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and drop a comment below with your device model like Samsung S9, your IMEI, and the country you're from. Once you've done these steps, you're automatically entered into the giveaway. It's that straightforward. So go ahead, hit like, subscribe, and drop your details in the comments. Let's go over the process. Head over to your browser on your device, could be your phone or your computer, and type in unlockhere.com. This takes you to a super helpful AI assistant powered web app that breaks down all those annoying mobile restrictions on your phone. Once you're in, say hello to Nifty, the AI bot. It's here to make your life easier. Tell Nifty you need an iCloud unlock by tapping on activation lock. Then let Nifty know you're dealing with an iPhone. If you've got an iPad or Apple Watch, you can choose those too. Next up, you'll need your IMEI or serial number. If you're thinking, what's the difference? Here's a quick rundown. Every iPhone has an IMEI. Some iPads and Apple Watches also have IMEIs if they have a SIM card slot or cellular capacity. If they don't, they'll just have a serial number. Grabbing your device info is a piece of cake. Press the sleep button on your lock device, tap it again, and then hit the I on the bottom right. Boom, there's your device info. Don't breeze through the next step, it's important. You'll have to input some basic info to link the order to your account. This needs to be accurate because you'll get a confirmation code sent to your email. That's necessary to confirm your order. Once you've done that, check that you agree with the terms and are not aiming to unlock a stolen device. Keep things legit, folks. Then you've got to prove you're not a robot by solving a quick CAPTCHA and finally tap Start Process. Now keep your eyes peeled for an email with a confirmation code. Sometimes it may be in your spam or junk folder, so check there too if it needs to be added to your inbox. With that confirmation code in hand, head back to the Unlock Here website. Plug in the code, prove you're not a robot one more time, and just like that, your unlock process has begun. Your device will soon be unlocked and free to use. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone lock to owner page. 
In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone, and as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it'll be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again once it's finally unlocked, so it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap, forget password, or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. And that's it for this part. But don't tap out just yet. If you're not a fan of this method, hang tight. We've got another one coming right up. One of the top legal ways to remove the iCloud activation lock is by using the original receipt. If you've gotten your hands on your device secondhand, you might want to reach out to the original owner and ask them for it. Apple tends to give users a helping hand when they can provide a valid receipt, so it's definitely worth a shot. Secondly, you've got the option of reaching out directly to Apple. They've got a dedicated support line, and in some cases, they can assist users in removing the iCloud activation lock. It might not be a guaranteed win, but it's another avenue you can explore. Now here's a gem that only a few folks talk about. Erase all content and settings. It's an option built directly into your device and can sometimes be a lifesaver. Just navigate to settings, find general, and then reset to find this feature. This option will only work if Find My iPhone isn't enabled. So it will only work for some, but it's worth checking out. Remember, the key here is to stay within the legal boundaries and respect others' rights. These strategies align with that, helping you to power on your device without any dodgy tactics. We've got more goodies coming up in the next video, so stay tuned.